Today's game is being played in Newson Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to uh, country star Darth Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseshit buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. <laughs> One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and seven. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Third down and, well, good luck. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half and save it. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And that is caught for a first down. First down and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five.
And it's first and ten. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score the 30 he, and the quarterback finds his man for the first down nah, that's not fair someone should call a penalty on this ref yeah the death penalty hang them by the nuts <laughs> They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. And he's off to the races. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Rainbow, and he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Third down and three. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pet team game, needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. And this is a first and low. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Mm, nobody likes to watch that happen to a ref. Yeah, you got that right, Brickhead. They'd rather be down there in the field doing it themselves. A lot more fun. Mm-hmm. 
First down in a mile. It's two yard run before he stopped. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot, hot eight. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, 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 that gets me every time. Like a jack-in-the-box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crack your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Three. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. They want more points, so they're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! Second down and seven. He's got his beast boost. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Vanji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it.
Second down and 10. And the QB might as well just bury himself now. Great play by the defense. Results in an interception. He could go all the way. The 20. He's at the 10. And he scores. And viewers at home, don't worry. He doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I am fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, thank you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, my God! The defensive player looks like he's looking! He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Runs it in for the touchdown. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. Second down and six. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll bring up third down and seven. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a root. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> Second down, and it ain't gonna happen, partner. The quarterback is getting mauled out there. I don't even get out of it. 
Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns up. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room. And we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? Our carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to our strippy show. Where we going? Hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having and it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of an boom to the moon. Another. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this man. Third down and forever. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And they'll line up for the punt here. Apparently the punter for the day is being played by my kid's sister. And she does. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Huh? 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 The offense.
defense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the third. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, a man hit charge, the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He's hit the 40. The 30. He's hit the 20. The 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And this ref is definitely on the tank. That was a bogus penalty. Second down, and, he, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he was stuck to him like glue. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Third down and long. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Third down and three. Catches the ball and heads upfield. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. friends was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Come on! 
And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against. Man, these guys are some high rollers, and they just won the pot. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and never going to happen. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. First down and five. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. First down and five. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You can't keep a good mutant down. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of this whole sport. Nicely done for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> well, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind? Or did that play that I saw just not happen? Uh, I gotta stop smoking them on tiny laundry pods. You can't switch hands. And that'll be their final timeout. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? 
and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Quinn. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Come on, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Mm, that's bleak, Bricks. Oh, and he misses the kick. Man, his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. And it's first and ten. Nashville-like and suffer a howling defeat today with this home loss. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.